Amen at Cornerstone. Thanks for joining Pastor Luke and myself with Noel Boucher on last Saturday and thinking about what it means to be a man who's following Jesus, what that looks like, this journey that we're on to, to know that we actually are sons of our Heavenly Father, loved, accepted, He likes us, He's proud of us. And out of that, we can learn to lead like real men, real dads, real fathers in the lives that we have. And uh, it was a good start, lots of good questions to talk about. And we gave you a book, Psalm 23, Shepherds Look at Psalm 23. And, and uh, we're going to send you a quick video at the beginning of every week just to encourage you to get a couple chapters done in that book each week and kind of let it influence you, kind of let it sink in and uh, form the way you think about yourself and form the way you think about Jesus Christ. So chapters one and two are great. The first chapter really is about who, who do I trust to be in charge of my life? And a lot of times we don't trust anybody, really. We've got to do it ourselves. We make our own decisions. We plan things out. We want to take care of ourselves. We really can't trust people. We've had some bad experiences perhaps before. We, we say, no one has my best interest at heart except for me. So I'm going to have to be in charge of myself. And I won't be able to be happy until that happens. Well, Scripture makes it very clear that the Lord is our shepherd. We're like sheep. We need a shepherd. We can't self-shepherd. It doesn't work. We don't know enough. We're not God. And at the end of the first chapter, some really important questions. You can read them quick, but read them slow and think about them and start to answer them and ask God to help you answer them honestly. And they'll help kind of move you on so you can say, the Lord is my shepherd. The second chapter has to be with, I shall not be in want, or a translation I, I like, is I have everything that I need. And that seems like a strange thing in our culture, doesn't it? I mean, the only way for me not to be in want is to get everything that I want, which never happens because we keep wanting. There's just never ending thirst for more and more and more. And the chapter zeroes in on this idea that if we say, I've, I shall not be in want, I have everything that I need, we're saying, Jesus, the way you manage my life, the things you bring me through, how you bring me through, what you give, I trust. It's good. I can't manage it better. You're my shepherd. Uh, so great things to think about because there's a lot of discontent in our hearts as men, particularly different chapters of life. We're younger, we're starting out, we're getting older. So just read it. It's going to be great. And uh, enjoy. Enjoy.